He might be looking to set up his controls. I actually want to see more of Eon's Fox against this matchup. I know Shag's got that, got that Inkling and that Palutena. Nope. You know, it's, it's been a while since I've been outside the Smash League, but it's, I've, I'm actually really excited to need faces that I consider to be. Shag, Shag is, Shag's a new face for me, so I, I'm really excited to see more, you know, you know, top-notch players. Yeah. But Shag I, did I, mean Bayonetta back in Smash 4. Um, he was a pretty big player, honestly. Sniff. He, he, he was, I think one of one of his big claims to fame is like he was able to beat Larry on a major back in Smash 4. Uh, since then, he kind of made a name for himself as being one of Mexico's finest Bayo mains, and then coming down to Ultimate Riot, being nothing short of top 8 and an MSM is still pretty big. Fun. Even in the local scene, too, as well. Like, you live in a Scapa, too. Definitely one of those kids you do see travel come out here to the States. Never mind. I just don't pay attention enough. Thank you so much for being an informative commentator, Vance, because I am not. <laughs> hey, man, noticed. sometimes we're all going to learn new things every day. Happens, <laughs> you learn something new every day, that's what they say, man. That Palutena Nair is not something new to be learned, because you got to be able to expect it. Nah, he's, playing, he's playing probably my favorite waifu in this game. I love seeing Palutena. I'm, a, I'm excited to go ahead and keep saying his play. Oh. I love Shag's play all evening. It makes that low recovery here. 91%, something that already Yon has taken. That's already big damage. I'm a smash, though. Slowly coming back. One thing that Palutena also does fall unfortunate to is being caught in the Fox Vortex. But at the same time, look at how much like Fox gets caught in the Palutena Vortex too. True. Uh, he has the available space. He's got the close tools. He's got the mid-range tools. Now Palutena is nuts. Yeah, down tilt. Able to two from here. But those tilts go ahead and stay out forever, and he's gonna get punished for it. But not killed. Not killed. Back throw. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna, gonna not kill. Gonna kill get stage control here. And that up smash didn't kill that, I'm surprised on. The end the light from Explosive Flame actually giving Eon enough time to come back on the stage and turn things around. I like that. I like that. He's, he's, he's playing that Fox so well. I love it. It's like a combination of Smash 4 and Melee Fox. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a honestly for Eon, too, the fact that he can be able to make such a big comeback there. And it's Chad. Like I gotta say, I love watching Fox in this game. It's so entertaining. Oh, he tries to come back. He tries to come back to the ledge. All right, Eon makes a play for the other side here. Didn't that? I, I, I respect it because that would that would have been a shield poke. That would have. Not quite getting with that up tilt. I like it. Shag just not letting this guy man free. Land for free. Baits him out by throwing out a back air, then throws the nair, then teleports into the up air. Wow, I love this movement. He just be moving. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to keep up with that. Nice. Good use of double jump here. Mix up the timing here on the landing on the nair. Could have been looking for a nair to out smash too as well with that timing. As I say, that's what he was looking for. And it's good for him to make that play too, because literally that's one thing that's gonna allow. Like Chad had to literally like DI away, then go toward the right, and then Eon would be right there to follow. Okay. That's a little bit dangerous for Shag, but getting back on the stage. Has to go ahead and find the kill if he, can't, if he wants to go ahead and. Uh... These are some tough trades. I'm so sorry. The minute Chag tried to land with an area and then only to climb from Fox's up air, those are some real tough trades. Oh, good back air. Just random back air. Hit him with the shield. Why not? Already at 56%. Shag, actually, so you know, this is actually looking pretty doable. He can take the first game. Yeah. But Eon playing really patient, not letting Chad get anything started just yet. That's how that explosive flame gets a dash attack. I love how he's been doing that short explosive split. Mm -hmm. Oh, that I, was good. I like it because he used Side B to close the gap and then go for an edge guard there. But at that point, like you have to remember, Side B doesn't cross up and the egg like from it is still susceptible here. I like that. He uses the shield push out to bring Chag towards the ledge and then react to his option out of shield as well. A lot of players actually just get really get really respect Fox for his aerials and his combo for his combo output, so they just hold shield that extra long time and that allows usually the Fox main to go ahead and make a prediction from there. There, I wow, like the chase. Prediction. I'm telling you, man, a lot of Fox, a lot of Fox, it's scary to fight Fox still sometimes. Very. Especially if the Fox is as good as on my level as Light and Eon. Mm -hmm. He's on his own level though, man. Never. I try not to compare two players to that often. I'll definitely say Eon is a Fox player still. 
on his own level, for sure. I mean, there's not that many Fox mains here in Silicon anymore. Ah, which step? I mean, is there any other besides those two? We only have like one Palutena and like one Fox. We usually have like one of each, honestly, if you think about it. Like, we have one Palutena, one Fox, uh, like a few Peach mains. That's a character that still survives, but like. Wolf, we got quite a, quite a few of them. I was about to say, I mean, SoCal's got to have like the top circuit. Like, who do they not? We have one Lucina. One Lucina, that's it, guys. Yeah, Vladen. Come on, SoCal. We have one. Yo we have like a few Yoshi's actually. Do, do we got a plant? Even do we have anybody in the plant game? Yeah, in we do. We do. Do we have a Sonic besides me? No. Am I alone? You're alone. I'm alone. Wow. I hate to tell you, man. <laughs> that's so, okay. Hey man, but enjoy enjoy the title of the best Sonic main in SoCal. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right back into it, man. I mean, Eon enjoys the title of the best Fox main here in SoCal. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's kind of, I don't know how many times he's played against Jump City, or if they have played at all, but Jump City is actually the best Fox in SoCal, so we'll see how things handle. Good use of backer because he can stop a get-up attack since it has armor. I don't know, I love Jump City, but Shag is playing amazing yeah. Calatina today. I think some things that I haven't seen, to be honest. I like how just how he's actually just moving around the stage. I love how he's just getting all these different types of setups, his edge guards that he's been playing against Nintendo. The way that he's been playing against Charlie was the, probably the only exception today that I've actually been able to see. And right now against Eon, he's just going ahead and trying to go ahead and force his will onto it. Sorry, that was a lot to go inside. <laughs> oh, he missed the upspray shit again. Oh, look oh, at that damage! What a t that wasn't even, I don't even know if that was teleport cancel too. Nah, that was as anime as it gets. That looked like it's straight out of Bleach. Just puts a flash step and just hits him with his staff. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right, I like that. Yami yeah, getting to play the thing back center stage. He has so much high percent, but unfortunately, no amount of. How did that kill him? It, probably the fact that he might have helped with the uh, DI wrong. Right, right. Probably did, but I mean, obviously he had to. But I was just so surprised. I'm like, wait, that killed? What? Shag actually uh, still putting over. He's got the stock lead. He's got the percent lead. Down throw over our bear. There it is. Good setup. Yeah. Alright, he's so using that dash attack. Sorry. Sometimes I do tend to sit in the struggle, and I believe it's intangibility that Palutena has on her shield. I thought it was invincibility. No, it's uh, intangibility. Oh, okay. I've been wrong. I am so sorry. If, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I am grateful to be commentating with you because you can go ahead and give the people the right information and not the information that I think I know. Because I am wrong. Half the time. Ooh, wow. That narrative up smash didn't kill? Shag's still living. What kind of anime plot armor does this man have? That forward tilt pokes the shield, looks like. Not quite gonna take it. That backer's still not quite gonna kill from Eon. Ooh, gets the Nair. No tech from Shag. Shag on his, on his uh, last knock for this game. Just gotta clean up Eon's, though. Let's see what that neutral be. Back throw. Yeah. That's gotta yeah. be it. Eon kinda, kinda hitting his tail a little bit there. He didn't. <laughs> should have remembered how that works. Shag able to put it up 1 1. So yeah, back air, uh, for those of you guys wondering, it's usually like one of the moves we used to see a lot more in Smash 4. Well, Palutena, it's got an 8 frame startup, minus 5 on shield, uh, 10 frames with ending lag. It's arm invincibility from frame 7 to 10, auto cancels between frame 1 to 2. 12% base damage. Honestly, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty pretty big move to respect, especially with invincibility on the arm, aka intangibility. Dang, you remember all that kind of frame data? What are you like, Mini Mewtwo King Jr.? No. <laughs> we, we, ha we usually use the Ultimate Frame Data. I, think, I believe that's the name of the website. Ult I think it's like ultimateframedata.com. Oh, oh, using a cheat sheet on the side. I, I was about to say, dang, you got, like, that is godlike. Man, there are 80 characters in this game, man. It's, not, it's really hard to remember all of them. <laughs> I mean, how do you when they're so it's an amazing cast? Yeah, only, only be getting much bigger. Uh-huh. Could you some empty hops here? Signifying he could go for an empty hop grab or a back air. <laughs> Voice clips sometimes are actually really funny. For this Down throw, right there, nice. It's back throw. At that point, Eon kind of predicted it here, and Chai almost gets the auto reticle to stop Eon from coming for that fire, Firefox. Trying to really get that there. Oh, I missed the grab. 
Back throw again. Back throw. Down tilt into four here. Yeah, almost and he's able to, he's able to two frame him. In there. Try to Looking to get the recover here. I almost thought he was hit the back air. I, he, it looked like he was aiming for the back air, but I respect him going for the up air because at that point, like, he would have respected the back air because it has tangibility. He would have probably jumped from the ledge. I'm sorry, from the platform. And then. So that was great opportunity for Jack. Well, I'm liking the Jack. She's playing with that really well. But. It's going to be difficult for Yon to go ahead and start making back. Getting off this ledge will be the next challenge for him. Mm -hmm. And while he's off the ledge, now the CP can actually start to capitalize on him. That's the other question. Getting out of disadvantage is one thing. Going ahead and putting yourself in advantage, that's the other. Okay, Very nice. Dash tag. Looking for the tag chase, but unfortunately, Yon does not get the up smash. Oh. That air train is actually really broken. Almost hits that up here, but not quite. Gonna land with that back here instead. That's yeah. a great jab setup. Yeah, he almost stopped the ledge to go for the side B. <laughs> Just missed that up smash. But I like the thought that he had. Getting all over the shield, but not quite gonna get anything off of it. That, that was a four isn't that? That was a four there. Oh, time. he did not give it that chase. <laughs> Great up smash for me on taking out that first stock of Shags. Back throw. Taking out a second stock of Eons. One more stock for Eon. Loser's finals in game three. Back throw. Back throw. I was going to say, he's either going to go for falling air or back air. If he actually went ahead and did that and got him off screen starting from zero, I, I, I would have just been like, all right, I'm done. Wrap it up. Wrap up the side. It's done. He won. Exchange. I like how Neon is starting to put on the gas pedals. And I'll keep him the spacing too. He kind of backed up a little bit and waited to see how Jackal's going to respond. He's starting to use his patience. With that forward smash right there, starting to get some percent tact on. Yep. He's getting closer and closer. It's possible he can go ahead and get enough smash and actually almost kill. But he needs a little bit more, I think, at least an air into that. The forward up smash is going to kill. Ooh, okay, forward air. Trying to frame him yet again. Ooh, back air. That was a great patience from Jack. Oh, I love he, how that was a grab. That was. that was a grab, and I feel like he down tilted just in case he was going to go for side B yet again. Missing the up air, but a tough trade there coming off from Jack. He on at 117. If you were to make a comeback, this would be the opportunity here. And he starts off with a little Not going to kill just yet. Oh, he has to, yeah, he has to go for low. A fox angle, unfortunately, not going to be the thing that auto snaps the ledge, gets two frames, and Chad bringing it up 2 1 against Eon. Yeah, I, still like, I still like seeing him use that green haired waifu. That's great. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's definitely one of those common, more common matchups for sure in this game now. Uh, definitely Valentine to be one of the more meta strong meta characters. All right, Neon, this time I'm going to swap over to Joker. One thing he's able to do is use Rebel's Guard against Auto Reticle and a lot of the as multi-hits if he times it right. That's just one opportunity there, but we'll see how things happen in the Mucha here. Tries to go for an upper immediately, only to get grabbed by Jack and a quick 44% closer to Arsene. And is even more, no, he's oh good, he's good. I was say, the, ceiling, the ceiling is really high in town city. Right, right, for a second I was just like, wow, he's already in the magnifying glass. He just got hit by up air. I mean, he may not be dead, but honestly, to be at our center, such a percent deficit, can be pretty tough. That's absolutely like, very. That's not the chat, though. Using that platform and trying to stay away from our center to wait it out. So, I like, I like that he's already been playing out. Starting to put out that percent. Now he's got our send. Oh, oh my gosh, did he just kill him at 60? Yeah, and he read the neutral get up, too. Wow, that was. Scary. Oh my gosh, he's already putting up. This is obviously a very entertaining combo, and I'm liking more of it. What an adaptation coming out from Neon. I, I love the way that this first game is starting. Nice, he's aligning with dash attack. <laughs> Great use to try to set up for the backup, but he buys himself that time by going for take aim. 
Spacing, I like that. He kind of, yep. He was kind of like spacing himself with the, uh, showing his back that he might be going for back air and then Chaco thought it was safe to move, man. But the only thing you should be looking for is that forward smash. Yeah. See if you can actually go ahead and try to catch Eon. Shag already down to his dogs. has to find an answer for, for Eon to... Oh, okay, finds that in there. But it's still not going to kill, though. Down throw. I like that. After it, but I like it. That was good too, because he was looking to set up and read the DI with a back air, or set up for an out smash. Alright, he almost got our send. This all started from Chad's favor too, he did a lot of damage over to Eon. Unfortunately though, after McCarver, he wasn't able to get out of that situation. I just like that Chad just doubled down and was like, alright, if I first I don't succeed, I'm just going to hit you with another explosive flame. Yeah. And it's the ang lag the Joker gets from going for the reflect on that one. Wow. Nice, reach the landing. It's a grab. Not getting the back air. Back throw. Eon with a lot of stage control here. Can he get the ledge jump? Missing the opportunity. Another back throw here. Eon's edge guard. Ooh, we tried to counter just the counter miss though. Mm -hmm. Shows his back hit again. I'm playing really well and patient, honestly. He has the speed to keep up with Palutena as well. Nice. He rather landing. I like this. Could he actually go ahead and steal the rest of the set? Dun, dun. All right, well, Eon here up against... Doing pretty well, honestly. He was not up against too much here against Chag. What a good turnaround because he was able to use a lot of his abilities to condition Chag to be ready for those other options when he would take the main option he was originally looking for. Q in that forward smash that he had up against Chag, right, by only spacing himself and showing the fact that he might be going for back air. Like I said, there's a lot of meta moves and a lot of meta characters in the game that you feel like you're used to the classic options, but then your opponent picks an unorthodox option there and it kind of like messes you up. Absolutely right. All right, game five here. Eon back to Fox. The final three games. Yeah, only one player will move on to grand finals to fight Charlie, and the other one will be sent, will be sent home to third place. And both of them actually already lost to Charlie, so it'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see the, either, the, the run back either way. Yeah. Will Charlie still go ahead and show the dominance that he played against him? both players, actually. Instead of being checked by 3 1, and nice. Eon was actually game five in a situation that Two frame. Okay. I don't agree with the switch to Fox, honestly. Eon had a lot going on for him and Joker, but I, hey, I'm not the man, that, I'm not the one holding the sticks here. No, no, I wouldn't, <laughs> me either. I thought he was doing really well with Joker, he felt like really dominant, he doesn't yeah. even have the adaptation or the downline yet. He had a lot of things down there with Joker that I felt that were much more stronger than him going Fox, but hey, I'm telling you guys back at home, man, I'm not the one holding the control in, the hand, in my hands, it's, the, it's Eon here. You're right. All the scared from the running animation, unfortunately he gets two framed in again. Wow, okay, great expectation to go ahead and get the change in this situation. Gets the after loose box off on the stage. Has himself now in an up air, you know, in a... Wow, I'm sorry, juggling situation is what I was trying to say. Ooh, just goes ahead and just loose box right into a shield. Ooh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to stop Fox from worrying for that Fox fire. And unless it's the fact that not only he doesn't, uh, he caught him in the two frame there, but it's the fact that Fox also sticks his hurt box out when he goes for it. This is big damage coming out from Jack. Eon yet to have a spawn. Oh, Sai so the shield here, but Eon immediately with the revenge of that up smash from there. I'm liking that. Two stocks each left. Give you the Shag or Eon if you go ahead and pull this next part off. Ooh, okay. I was expecting Eon to go ahead and get a second pair after that. Okay. Attacking on the percent, setting up the juggle situations. Shag seeming to only threaten to go off the stage, but he's not quite going off stage. He's trying to keep that stage control. I like how he's keeping that presence. Eon though at 126. Oh, that's two frames from down yet again. Another two frames. Another one. Wow, these frames. But that was a good mix up. Oh, back oh. here to go ahead and kick my It was Eon. the It was the running skin animation. 
he was probably trying to dash dance, but unfortunately got caught in that skid. Costing the stock. So Iana's final possible tournament stock. The question is if he can go and take Shags before that happens. Oh, yeah. He did go for it. I respect that. Really, oh, just barely misses the death smash. Now Shag already going ahead and putting in the percent. Already starting to starting to make this really tough. This is the parts where it starts to get really tough for Eon if he wants to go and make that comeback. Yeah. And that was his up smash right there, I felt like. There's another one. I'm already holding my breath just seeing if he can go and take the next dog. It feels like any of these next hits can go ahead and be absolutely crucial. Yeah. Shag get the next combo. Eon gonna get the next up smash. Oh, he's coming into the up smash. I like that he finally committed to it though, because yeah, it felt like he had other opportunities to do so, and he didn't. Oh, wow. Forward throw, nice. Sets up himself for the edge guard one more time. Full jab. That'll not do it just yet. Oh, the that'll do it flame. though. Yeah, that'll catch Fox in the side. Again, unfortunately, Eon will lose that to Shag. 